Uh, Geza Imre came through Pierre Borski of Switzerland 15-12. Chong Du Park, a great win there against the Korean 15-10. Then he had a good fight against Bogdan Nikishin, but just edged at 15-14. And then he beat uh, Zen Li, who had a cracking day himself. Uh, beat, uh, beat him fairly comfortably 15-8 to bring us to the semi-final matchup. I don't know too much about the 34-year-old Korean. He's ranked 52 in the world. He was fifth at the recent Asian Championships. Had a 32 in the Budapest Grand Prix, but not much else this season. Gazza Emery is uh, 40 years old. The Hungarian got a silver medal at the World Cup in uh, Bern early on this season, but his world ranking has been as high as number three. Juan Carlos Rios Rivera, our referee, and Mihail Pagiev, our video referee, and our first man's epee. Semi-final is underway. Sorry, asking for his weapon to be checked. It works, point stands. Flesh attack there from Jung gets him on the board. We've talked about this before, Karim, how not only athletic but acrobatic the Korean fencers can be. Yeah. It seems to be part of their style. Well, it's a, it's a completely new style. Lovely hit to foot there. Very sharp. That is not an easy hit. I see it in the slow motion replay here. Yeah, they've got uh, a style all of their own, and uh, <laughs> it works. Well, Gaza Imre says, if you can do it, I can do it. Picks up the blade and flicks his opponent on the foot. He's actually uh, quite composed. As Jung straightens his weapon, I'll just look down to the uh, Hungarian box. And it looked like the coach was saying to Geza Imre that he needs to close out in the sixth line a left hander against a right hander that would make sense as long as he's got hold of the blade well, he uh, performed what his coach wanted perfectly there ends up in the sixth line and blocks out with his arm which is perfectly legal you can use your sword arm Top of the guard for Geza Emery. I 
Looks like Imre wants to get out this first period just with a one hit lead. <laughs> Jung wants to keep fighting, but Imre stayed sharp. take us to our one minute break. Geza Emre of Hungary, five. And uh, Seung Hwa Jung of Korea, three. And uh, Emre seems to be the sort of more focused, sharper of the two in, in this first period. Well, I don't know about uh, sharper, but Perhaps you're right about the focus. He's got a clear plan and he's executing it well. He's not rushing. Jim almost seemed a little bit like he'd run out of ideas towards the end of that uh, first period. But he'll be uh, having a chat with his coach. Well, we'll see him having a chat with his coach. And they'll be going through the game plan for the second period right now. Still too tight to, to call it, but uh, a good start from Imre, that's for sure. Juan Carlos Rios Rivera will bring them back to the line and we will start our second period in this first men's FA semi-final here in Moscow. And it does. And he's just, Jung's just attacking from a little bit too far away then. Imre saw that coming. keeping his distance here. It's worked to his advantage so far. Oh, it's lovely from Gezo and Ray. He's happy to go all the way back to the back line. And then he's just trying to lure Jung just inside distance. And the other thing that uh, Imre is doing is that he is changing line. And it looks to me like Jung is just being a little bit too direct. Jung's just going straight forward, direct, and uh, that time Imre just ducked out of the way. And Imre walked, uh, sorry, Jung walked straight onto his blade. Jung's 
Jung needs to find his plan B. Well, you cannot be one-dimensional when you're facing somebody like Geza Emery. Double there of no use to Jung. To be fair to Jung, he did try and uh, put in a compound action there using two different lines, but it was just a bit wild and uh, Imre was able to land on the inside of the wrist. Really solid performance by the Hungarian. He's, for me, Jung hasn't changed enough and uh, Imre is able to stick with the same tactic, uh, dealing with direct action. So a couple of blocking out parry riposts and then we even saw a duck out of the way of a high line attack. Well, Seung <laughs> Jung has one minute to think about it, one minute to come up with a plan. And I think he's got one minute to add a little dimension to his approach to this semi final match. And there we see that ducking, that evasive move, that ducking counter there from Geza Emre, and that pretty much sums up this match. We go into the third and final period, 11 for Geza Emre, five for Seung Wa Jung. attempts at trying to stop the oncoming Hungarian but uh, not successful tries to foot tries to circular cease flick to back just doesn't able to land any of his hits at the moment he found one there Too simple. <laughs> we were able to wrap up the direct action there. Let's see, let's see he's blocking out. Just as Jung tries to change things up, Emre's already hit him, and it needs one. Well, what Jung's done is he's uh, he's tried to uh, 
put in a few dummy attacks to lure Imre out, but Imre was ready for it. Didn't give him the blade. through to the gold medal match. It is bronze tonight for Seung Hwa Jung of Korea. But Imre looked very, very strong in that match. Well, we've got one more men's FA semi-final to come, Karim, and the result of that We'll see what it's going to be like for Geza Imre next time around. Yeah, I think either way, it's not perhaps going to have uh, as easy a tactical battle. That was one uh, with a game plan, uh, perfectly executed game plan, but a game plan nonetheless. He didn't have to change too much of what he was doing. At the end, Imre did have to make a little adjustment as uh, Jung was doing some short attacks to try and draw Imre's blocking counter-attack but Imre switched very quickly to saying, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait for you to start waving your sword around, looking for my blade, and then I'm just going to pick off your arm as it's moving around. So a comfortable victory in the end. We've got another match coming up, and this should be very interesting. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a big day for the Scandinavians, isn't it?